Hey everybody, it's Immortal Phoenix again. I thought this would be a great chance to do a tutorial on how to do some quick XSplit tweaks if you're having issues with lag. Uh, the most important thing, I think, first off, before you go to the settings in XSplit, is probably your resolution. And a lot of times people don't know, but the resolution that they've set up is very, very high, and it's very hard for your computer uh, and your your internet to upload that large picture. So I, what I usually tell people is to lower their resolution and um, basically your resolution is just how in depth the picture is that you're sending out, that you're broadcasting. And so the smaller your picture is, the less quality there is, the, it doesn't look as sharp, but it'll get sent out there quicker. And then the larger the picture, the more the resolution, also you're going to have more quality, but it's going to be harder to push out there. So how you change that is you go to view, resolution, and then there's a whole list. And as you see, since I'm recording right now, you can't change anything. Um, and I hope you guys can see this okay. Uh, when when you XSplit records itself, it does this weird loop. So you guys are going to have to bear with me on that. But yeah, as since I'm just recording to my computer, I'm able to record high quality, 1080p. That's what this 1080 is here. And it's widescreen format. Or if I uh, if if I wanted to stream, I would stream in 1280 by 720. So my picture size is fairly big. Uh, it's widescreen. That's what the 16 by 9 means. Um, and it's it's really it's still really good quality. It's not as good as 1080p though. But again, I I never broadcast in 1080 1080p. So what you want to do is if you are broadcasting in this immediately. Uh, click on the lower resolutions. So what would I recommend for the people with a big amount of upload? So if you've got more than a, uh, a gig or more, or more of more than a meg, I'm sorry, per second, then you would go on this one, the 1280 by 720. Um, if you've got less than that, maybe you're at 500 kilobits upload per second, then you would pick one of these other options. And there's there's a bunch of them you can tweak with. Be sure uh, that you upload in widescreen if you're going to be uploading to YouTube or when you broadcast. So make sure you pick all the ones that say 16 by 9. Don't do the 4 by 3s. You see these 4 by 3s. So maybe maybe for a lower quality option, you'd want to go with the 640 by 360 or the 768 by 432. Sometimes it's helpful to start on these resolutions, play a game, and just see what happens. And if if it works, then you can take a step up. If that works, you can take a step up if you want to do it that way. But most people with a good amount of speed will should pick this one. By the way, when you are broadcasting, make sure you're not downloading anything because the way the internet works is you have one pipe if you spend all that pipe's energy to download, you'll have little space to upload. So that pipe has to be shared appropriately. So if I'm downloading a really large file, like uh, like let's say I'm downloading a game on Steam, and I'm trying to uh, broadcast at the same time, there's going to be conflicts. So just make sure you're not like downloading while you're doing this. Alright, so now that you have your resolution set, um, since I can't change the settings here right now since I am recording, I took a picture to show you my settings. I, yeah, I cleared my information out. So what you want to change on here, just really quickly, is you you want to change this preset right here. Ah, I'm trying to circle it. That's not a good tool. Here you go. You want to change this preset. This preset is very important. Um, I set mine to fast. If you have a really good computer, like a Core i5 or a Core i7 or better, then you can either make it um, slow or very slow. And all that means is that you're you're uh, you can go into depth on the uh, the link that I'm going to paste below, but it's just you're getting more of your computer's power used to broadcast. So if it's set to slow you're c and you have a fast computer, your computer's working harder, but it's getting you a better picture and it's pushing it out there quickly. So think of this as how hard do you want your computer to work. If you set this to fast, your computer is not working as hard as it could be. If you set it to slow, your computer is working very, very hard. Once you've got that set up, yeah, you've got this default quality that you can change. And the next important thing that you want to work with is this, the VBV max bitrate. So this is a variable. Um, but this is basically like a variable amount. What, it, what it's asking you is how much space do you want to allocate to allow to be uploaded. So how much, uh, how much of your uploading um, do you want to take away from your internet? Uh, what you want to set this to is generally, I'd say, a certain percentage of your upload speed. Uh, but sometimes I've had people do that and they get in trouble 
Like they they even because they don't have a stable connection, so they'll have a really good upload speed, but it won't be stable. So okay, what I would recommend just I don't want to go through like 30 different um, possibilities. Maybe the best thing that you could do is maybe you could start off at my 550, and if things are good, which they should be, this is a really low amount. Um, I I made mine low on purpose because I don't need to do really really high quality. Um, if this doesn't work out, or, then you can push it down. But this should be fine. Uh, move this up to a meg. A, a thousand or higher is a meg uh, of space that you're allocating just for your uh, stream. So you can move this up to a meg, two megs, three megabytes to see how much uh, of space that you've allocated and how much how stable that'll be. So even if I put two megabytes here, if my internet can't in a stable way upload that two megabytes, I'll start dropping frames. So you have to be careful. Like just putting this number up won't necessarily help you. There is a certain sweet spot. So where you want to go is maybe be a little conservative. For the higher quality streamers, I'd say put this number to 1500. Um, for the lower quality streamers, 500 is where I'm about like where I am right now would be helpful. And then yeah, for the buffer, I uh, I think this scales with this. If this doesn't scale, I guess just leave it at the 1100. Um, don't mess with the default state res resolution because you've already you've already taken care of that previously. Don't worry about the audio encoding. Um, that won't take very much space anyways. Uh, and I think you should be set at that point. Just make sure after that's finished that whatever you uh, you're streaming, you don't have anything else running in the background. Um, so that should be it I hope this helps and like I said if this if you still have issues uh, with broadcasting keep messing with your resolution lowering it and if that doesn't help then what you can do is lower your VBV max bit rate um, and then if you've got a, a, a strong computer make sure it's set to fast or to a slower speed the slower than the, the uh, the thing here, the the measurement, the the more your computer is working. Again, only if you have a good computer. It's really hard because the way that they set this preset, it's hard to think about it. But slow means your computer is working very hard, which is opposite of what you think. Um, fast means your computer is not working as hard. So, anyways, I hope that helps. Um, and if you still have issues, just leave questions in the comments, and then I'll go ahead and get to them. All right, take care, guys.